Hello everybody, Hjelse Farmer here and welcome to another new map for all platforms. This is called Greenlands. This is by Peter716. He's the same model which a week ago uh, also released the British Animal Placeable pack and also he had made New Park Farm. This map, by the way, is 130.58 megabytes to download. It is seasons ready, it is position farming ready. So it's all ready for all those things. It has a hundred fields. All fields are actually ready for contracts, so to speak. Now let's just jump straight into the map. As you can see, we have a mixture of uh, crop fields and meadows or grass fields. This bottom part here is empty. You cannot buy it or it's not there, so to speak. So you start with a whole lot, actually. You have field 42, 43, 60, 61, 76, 58 and 56. And you also start with the BGA, which is pretty nice. The BGA, you can sell it if you want for 134. You can also split up your farm if you want to sell some of the fields you don't like or you don't want. So that's also pretty neat. Are there other farms in the area? Yes, there are three farms. Except yours, you have a farm up here. You don't own the land, so to speak, but there is a pig pasture here, pig pen, where you can buy pigs. I've tested it, it works. And you also have a silo up here and a fuel station. There's also a farm area up here, which, which doesn't contain any animal pens, but you can buy it like so and you got some nice forestry areas which you can buy in chunks and these are the good type of trees easy to handle and there's also a farm area down here where you have sheep and cows and also on this farm here you have uh, bunker silos which are yours the really nice thing about this is that all the animal pens uh, that you own, you can sell it and they're also put in as a mod so you can buy those. Sell points is really easy and self-explanational, so to speak, in the names. You have the bale sale points for your grass products, biogas plant, this also takes it's only taking your silage, grass and hay, manure and slurry, not your root crops. You got egg cell point, you got two main cell points, which is really similar in price. They are more or less exact the same price on both of them. That might change, of course. You got a milk cell point, a sawmill and wool cell point. Contracts are available, but not now. I did test this uh, a little bit earlier and then I got contracts so there should be contracts available. When it comes to the sleep trigger uh, you cannot sell it. It's fixed uh, to the map so to speak. So if you want to sleep over you just go here to the door like so. Let's just get an overview of over your farm. So you got your sheep here. You got your pigs here. You got a bunker silo. Some nice sheds with equipment. We'll come back to that pretty soon. You also have your one of your farm silo just here. Where you unload inside there and you take out the products from this pipe. You got some more sheds over here for storage and also here you have two big bunker silos 
Uh, for silage. Big cow passed up here. And yeah, and it, as you can see on the minimap, you have some really nice fields. You have this one, you own this one, uh, this big hair you have, this field you own, also this one. This is ready to harvest. You own this one and the big one over here. So you have a really nice start farm, so to speak. So what do we start with when it comes to equipment? Well, and slot count, which everybody is excited about. This one, you start with 606 in slots. I did sell everything. Then I got the slot count all the way down to 375. And I ended up with 2.9 million dollar. But what you start with on New Farmer is a massive Ferguson 5610. You got a Fent, pretty good Fent with 200 horsepower. You got a New Holland T6 with 155. You got a pretty good harvester for start equipment. The John Deere T560. You got an Argoliner trailer, which is a multi fruit. This can hold everything. You got a header, a plow, a cultivator, and you got a cedar. Now this one requires 180 horsepower. And the biggest tractor you have is 200. Uh, I did test this because it's just on the limit. Uh, on one of the fields, it I struggled a little bit, but anyway, you got a fertilizer spreader. A front and a back mower, you got a tether, a windrower, a loading wagon, baler, a silage leveler, front loader with a bucket and spike, you got a trailer for your headers, you got two weights, one big one, 3300 kilos, and here you come into the animal pack, so to speak, with beef cattle. A cow husbandry pig enclosure, two different ones. One hold 100 pigs, this one hold 200. Sheep pasture would hold 80 sheep, two of these actually, and to the two fa farm silos. Two covered silage pit, and you got three single ones which are on your other farms, and you got this one. So on your start farm here, you actually have three silage pits, which is pretty neat. Here you have your sheep, where you buy and sell your sheep. Food is going in there, wool will spawn over here, and water is going in here. Moving over to the pigs. You got food and water here. You got the dialogue box here. Now I had to back in here to get the straw. It wouldn't take the straw in the food tray, so to speak. So I had to back in there. But anywho, slurry point just here. And the manure pit is over here. And over here you can see is one of your bunker silo. When it comes to lighting, well, it is in the morning, but the shadows are maybe a little bit dark. Uh, another thing uh, with this map, you can see that it has some hedges. And the big question is, is there are collisions in the hedges? And that's a big negative, which is a really <laughs> big relief. Not only because usually the roads are narrow, but on this map, the gates are really narrow. Uh, compared to, for example, Six Ashes, these gates are a whole lot smaller. Uh, 
Uh, when it comes to the cows, uh, I will not able to give them straw. You also got yourself a fuel point over here. And here is where your milk point is. Now, for giving them uh, food is in the same area where the animal dialogue box is. So, uh, I might just clip in and show you how I fed them. So there we go, so I don't know where the straw is going, but anyway, manure pit over here is a little bit narrow, so you won't get the biggest equipment in here. This spawn will hold 200 cows. For the sheep, this one will hold 80 sheep, and this pig Enclosure will hold a hundred pigs. So let's see on the map. Yeah, there is one strange thing over here. Uh, let's fly down there. I haven't found out what it is, but there's something strange going on on that bridge. Let me see down here. I went down here and you can see there is some hazard marks on the bridge here itself. I tried to go over here with a, a bucket of uh, wheat, but it, it's not a cell point. I don't know what it is. But anyway, Peter716, you asked for feedback. What is this? Yeah, this field is the one that's a little bit steep as you can see so I tried the fent tractor and my cedar and I barely could pull it up the hill here but anyway there are several uh, orientations that you can go so let's see we will go from our farm and I think we're gonna go to 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 up we're gonna start up here at the pig farm then we're gonna go in clockwise down to the sawmill bga and your third farm and down to the city and those buildings here is also pretty neat and over here to the main cell points so i'll see you up at my pig farm. So here I am starting at farm manager. As you can see, my money 1,250,000, and it looks like this. You actually have all your animal pens, which is pretty neat. Also, on the other two farms the animal pens are still there when it comes to slot count the slot count is down to 427 and as you can see here on the own equipment you have old animal pens and your silos and bunker silos and also the covered bunker silos so yeah pretty neat you don't have any vehicles or equipment or implements but anywho I think it's a nice start point they have uh, emptied your silos so if you go in here you can see you have 400,000 liter but there's nothing in it so there we go that's how it will look if you start it uh, yeah and of course you don't you don't own any land or fields but you can of course buy this area here for 637 
So here we are at the pig farm called the roadside farm. So here you got a, a little bit bigger pig enclosure which will hold 200 pigs. You got some really nice big sheds and here is your other farm silo. And you also got a fuel point inside there, which is pretty nice. And I really like the surroundings and the view from here. Whoa, yeah, we're in the UK now. So next thing we're going to come up is the third farm so to speak which is without any animals and the traffic here is actually pretty fast you can see I'm doing 50 and yeah it's almost like six ashes <laughs> so here on the right side you have a small farm area uh, with some sheds and up on the hill there you have a modern house and some whoop, some sheds where you can also start if you want just remember about the sleep trigger and here you can see the forestry areas with these big straight nice trees which are really easy to do logging with So here we're coming up to the green side sawmill where you have a really nice marked area for your lumber and you sell your wood or lumber over here and the wood chip sell point is there. Well I haven't actually tagged it sometimes it's a little bit off. Let's see sawmill where is the tag? Oh, okay, yeah, it's there. So there we go. This is the wood chip set point. And now we're coming down to the BGA, which is really nice that we own. So Greenlands, a lot of grass fields and you have a lot of bunker silos so that is not the problem. And on this one you actually have, I think it's six, four or six. And also inside here is one of the main cell point. So as you can see, yeah, we have four. So here is the BGA itself, the digester, and here is the main cell point called the, ooh, I'm way off now, do, do, do. Greenlands BGA, 
Ah, there we go, of course. So this will buy all of your normal crops and also your root crops. Your digestate will be picked up over here. And as you can see, we get the fill level and compacting level, so you can use these. And here we have our third farm, which is called the green side farm. Also a really nice area. In this one you have sheep and cows. So here is the cows. As you can see, I can buy, even though I don't own the area. You got your slurry point over here. You also have a um, double uh, bunker silo, as you have on your main farm. A fuel point. Here is where you put your sheep. Let's see, it was here, yeah. This is the manure pit for your cows. And as you can see, it's a little bit dark. It's maybe my television, but anywho. Now, when it comes to uh, the food and water, it's over here. For the wool spawn point, there's no hazard marks, but I would assume it's around here, maybe. This one I haven't tested for food and straw, but I assume it's inside here, both for your food and your bedding straw. Or maybe it's here. If seems like or maybe this is already manure no maybe you have to open this one and straw goes into here so there we go let's have a look on the map we started all the way up here at the pig farm went through the farm and forestry sawmill BGA and now we are down here and now we'll keep on going to the shop and then to the main cell point area. So, here we are, main 
sale point or shop you got your workshop trigger here your shop trigger just there and what I also noticed I thought this was only in the Scandinavian countries but you see in the middle of the road here you have these uh, reflections in the middle there in Norway we have those with two yellow reflections we just call them cat eyes but I haven't seen it in this game before anywho uh, I haven't tested the reset point maybe we should do that I assume it's at the shop let's see let's just take one equipment there this one reset it yeah there we go so the reset point is here at the shop and for some reason the gate will closed so yeah uh, this is the fourth map in two days we got <laughs> here we come up to a small village and what is really nice about this is that you can actually look inside the buildings as you can see it's not just a flat texture on the windows oh yeah sorry so that's pretty cool So here we come up to a small cell point, which is the egg cell point. Yeah. So here you can sell your eggs. Whoa. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And then we move a little bit further here. We got the gas station with some really expensive gas. Unleaded 138.9. <laughs> I don't know. I don't hope that is uh, the real prices in pound or dollar. Here we are at the Greenland Grain Mill, which is the other main sell point. Let's see. Now we got, need to go a little bit back. And whoa, I'm driving on the right right side of the road. And I went a little bit too far. And yeah, I'm in the UK now. So here we got a really narrow gate, so to speak. And also here is a small farm area, so to speak. Uh, with some sheds. Yeah, we're coming up to the animal the livestock market and we also have some cell points here here is where you can pull your trailers if for buying or selling your animals and you also have a cell point for milk just here and inside this small shed we actually have two cell points one is the bales cell point where we can sell your bales and this one is the wool cell point so now we went to the city egg cell point Greenland's grain mill and we've seen the animal dealer the milk the bale and the wool cell point so we covered all the cell points so I think I'm just gonna drive along up here and you can look at the remaining map I guess let me have a look on my notes do, do, do. Da, da, ba. 
Cell points, yeah. This one, I don't know what it is. I assume it's a water point. So it's a nice uh, map, UK map. Uh, I haven't found any glitches or anything like that. Everything seems to be working. All the animal pen are working. Uh, I haven't tested all the cell points. I tested the main cell points, this one and the one at the BGA. So all of those are working. And yeah, and yeah, I like the landscape and the fact that there's no collisions on the hedges is also a plus. There's no train on this, but you know, a really nice one. So with that, I thank you for watching. Hit that like button if you like what you see or like the map itself. And yeah, subscribe to my channel if you're not already a subscriber. And I guess I'll see you at the next time. Bye bye.